so the analogy I would use is uh, a well-known one in medicine now, uh, that in order to prevent heart disease, which one could make heart disease or heart attack analogous to Parkinson's disease, um, there was a, a, an, uh, a um, correlation made between high cholesterol levels in the blood and incidence of Parkinson's disease. Just like this correlation between olfactory dysfunction and incidence of Parkinson's disease. Um, and, and now we end up treating patients who have cho high cholesterol, which isn't a disease, in fact. We don't go in and test all those patients to see if they have atherosclerotic plaque. We just treat the cholesterol. The reason we could do that now, I think, is first of all in the forward direction that the change in cholesterol lowering has now been shown to reduce risk of Parkinson's disease. The original was sort of looking back through history. Uh, and second of all, the drugs are thought to be incredibly safe. So one can treat a patient with high cholesterol who has no, that's not a medical condition, it's a risk factor. Um, I think with Katsu, which appears to be incredibly safe, one could really rationalize treating patients pre-symptomatically here and preventing uh, disease. And I think the exciting thing about this is that if you can start to modify disease course very early on, that individual may never become symptomatic. And so you can effectively cure Parkinson's disease by catching it before it becomes symptomatic and treating with a very safe and effective therapeutic uh, like Katsu. でえっと、もう一つですねそのよく言われていることですけれどもその例えば心疾患心臓の疾患とそのコレステロールっていうのはあの相関がある程度あると言われていますでコレステロールとパーキンソン病の相関もあると言われていますそしてその動脈硬化の,そのプラークをその見なくてもですね例えばあのコレステロール値の高い人だったらそのもう予防も兼ねてですねコレステロール薬をあのコレステロールの薬を投与するそれであのパーキンソンの治療にもなるんではないかとでなぜかというとそのコレステロールのお薬というのはあのリスクが非常に低い安全なお薬ですからそちらの予防投与もできるのではないかそんなことも考えていますそしてそれを思い立った時にその加圧もですね非常に安全であの有効性の高いものですから例えば無症候性ですね症状が出る前から加圧を導入することによってその疾患あの疾患の進行をですねあのこう緩やかにしてあの症状が出ないように治療できるのではないかであのそういうですねリスクが低くて有効性の高いものをですね症状が出る前に投与するそんなことも考えています。So、uh, my project over the next year is going to be to work with Dr. Jim to try to get、uh, Daniel c o r c o specifically at Northwestern、uh, using Katsu but I also would encourage all of you Uh, if you have patients who have Parkinson's disease,、uh, I know Parkinson's patients are very interested in、uh, getting better.、They're, they work very hard at it, and、uh, um, I would urge you to give it a try and to report in on, on what you observe, and hopefully、uh, we can make some progress over the next few years. Thank you. はい、で<笑>すいません、えっと、ジ私、このプロジェクトに関してはです、ね、今後あの、ジム先生と、それからノースウェスタン大学の,そのダニエル先生ですね、シカゴのダニエル先生と共同で進めていきたいと思うんですけれども、パーキンソン病の患者さんというのは、外してよくなりたいという気持ちを持っているので、とても努力をします、ですから、そのカーツインストラクターの皆さんもです、ね、パーキンソンの方にあのぜひ、カーツやってみて、その結果を私に報告していただきたいと思っています。そして数年ののうちにに、ね、ぜひみんなであのパーキンンソンの治療にあの取り組んでいこうではありませんかということであの終わりの言葉といたしますご清聴ありがとうございましたドクターピーター Thank you very much Thank you 盛大な拍手をお願いいたしますもう一度 In Japanese ka means additional and atsu means pressure so katsu literally means additional pressure the acronym SKU Stands for standard katsu units, and it refers to the amount of additional pressure that is applied in katsu training. The katsu master can measure between 0 and 500 SKUs. 
The precision and the sensitivity of the Katsu Master are essential features as they enable the Katsu Specialist to customize Katsu training so that it is properly set for each individual client. This understanding of the personalization of Katsu training is foundational to understanding why it is safe, efficient, and easy to adopt. A growing number of doctors recognize that Katsu can make a huge difference. Some are already beginning to identify ways in which Katsu could revolutionize medical care. Others, fascinated with the science of Katsu, are demonstrating the differences between correct Katsu and incorrect Katsu. And the possibilities are truly unlimited as Katsu training has expanded from dry land usage to a growing number of aquatic applications. Dr. Sato, of course, is the inventor of Katsu training and the patent holder of all Katsu equipment. He is also a fellow in the National Academy of Inventors. Dr. Sato realized that the optimal pressure is different for each individual because what is appropriate for one person may not be appropriate for another. A certified Katsu specialist therefore will know how to determine the proper SKU on a client specific basis. This is extremely important and quite frankly it is what separates Katsu training from everything else. The Katsu certification program provides the foundational knowledge and the protocols which are necessary to ensure the proper use of Katsu equipment for the maximum benefit of Katsu clients. The Katsu certification program provides extensive coverage in the topic of base SKU and optimal SKU. For more information about the Katsu certification program, visit katsu-global.com.